Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and this is my very first attempt at a video producing stats, uh, the weapons, and blackout and today we'll be covering the assault rifles and basically I'm going to be telling you the two damage types that a weapon can have as far as close range and long range. Now a lot of these weapons it varies by range so to keep it basic and to keep it simple I am throwing out numbers that I've collected that the amount of damage that each weapon does at pretty much close quarters or barrel stuffing range and all the way out to extreme ranges and we're talking extreme ranges like you can't even you can barely see the enemy target and um, everything in between is just a downward uh, range as far as damage is concerned so from the max damage of close range all the way out to long range the damage does does decrease however it's way too many numbers to throw out at people so I thought I'd just try to keep it simple as just the two basic which is up close and extreme ranges so without further ado uh, I will first be putting up the weapons as far as the damage that they do from close quarters to long range and we're talking extreme long range and then a little later in the video I will also be putting up the amount of damage you can do or at least the amount of shots that it takes to drop enemies with levels 1, 2, and 3 armor both with either 150 or 200 health. So as you can see here we're starting with a rampart with 37 up close, 29 at a distance K57 with 37 and 26, and the SWAT with 36 and 25. He was running. And as you can see, the Vapor with 32 up close, 24 at a distance, the ICR, same numbers, and the Maddox with 27 and 22 at a distance. Now what's to follow is the breakdown of every weapon and what they can do as far as against opponents with 150 health and 200 health and all three levels of armor pretty much is a breakdown of how many shots it takes to drop that person he's right here this middle street yeah fucking bastard i didn't know that guy was right there <laughs> dang this guy's weak he's gonna finish me motherfucker dude i lit him up Got him. 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 Damn it, Oh, 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 behind, 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 west. He's down. Mute's down. Shit. Nice, mute. One down. the right don't go to the right on my left knock this guy knock this guy knock guy further out further out knock him whole team coming on my left whole team coming on my left getting shot getting shot on your left jack yeah that's why i shot that's why i shot so there you have it yes it's a lot of numbers to take in and a lot of numbers to crunch but uh that's what you get. Yeah, in a nutshell, that's what it is. Um, basically, what determines a lot of these weapons and the differences between them is the fire rate and accuracy, I have to say. Um, obviously, the weapon with the higher fire rate and a better accuracy will be the winner, especially if they have the same amount of damage that can be dealt. Um, 
it has to do basically with a balancing factor that the, the creators of the game uh, put into it as far as you know if a weapon does higher damage they're gonna make it shoot slower they're gonna make it have more recoil just to keep it fair um, when going up against a weapon that has better accuracy but less amounts of damage but anywho I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said I know it was kinda sketchy but it was my first attempt um, at creating a weapon statistic video um, I hope it was very useful to you guys if you did like it please go ahead and hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I will definitely try to bring more uh, weapon stats uh, to you guys in the future uh, we got a lot more to cover especially the SMGs and everybody's favorite the uh, the sniper rifles um, so I thank you again for watching and I'll catch you guys next time Going off the grid. Check fire. Check fire.